This show's called Drew's Views. I'm doing Car Tuesday with Steven Universe. So check it out, okay? Now people love the verse. Like, subscribe, even. Now let's sit back and watch me watching. Hey, we got Drew's views here back for Car Tuesday, reacting to cartoons on Tuesday with Steven Universe, The Verse Season 2, really ramping it up here, getting toward the end of Season 2. Today I'm on episode 22 and 23. So, last time on 20 and 21, it was the Paradot show, all Paradot all the time. The past like four episodes have been all about her, basically, uh, and her storyline here with this cluster business and all of that. We learned through her some stuff about gem culture as well. Evidently, there's multiple pearls, or there's a lot of pearls. They're kind of bred to be servants or whatever, not be thinking gems or whatnot. So Pearl, the Pearl we know is definitely an outlier with that. Also, what we've kind of been discovering and got it hammered home even more or less episodes was that Garnet, the fusion, uh, the, the permafusion basically is an unusual thing. They usually only fuse to fight on Homeworld and there's kind of illusions made with, I was pointing it out with, uh, which I think was kind of, kind of obvious, allusions made to the real world with gay marriage, things like that. Uh, with the Pearl stuff, it was kind of allusions to different races or groups of people being inferior. And then, uh, you know, last time Paradise was offending everyone across the board uh, with Amethyst, she was saying Amethyst should be the, based on the three of the Crystal Gems we know, should actually be the leader of them based on her status as an Amethyst, even though she's a puny Amethyst apparently and they're supposed to be way bigger and all that. So that's kind of an allusion to people with disabilities or things like that, I think. So Paradot, yeah, her main, her main point last time, thematically, I guess, was to point all those kind of real world issues act and sh learn how you're supposed to behave, I guess for kids and stuff too. Again, this is a kid show, essentially. So I think that's what the writers are going for there. But in terms of the actual show, textual stuff, we still got this cluster here. Homeworld screwed that up. I, I, I'm still not 100% clear if the cluster happened by accident. I, that's what I thought initially, at least. They are experimenting and this happened and it could destroy the earth. Or is it there to destroy the earth and to be a weapon? That's what it seems like too, kind of. So I don't exactly know. Paradise wants to stop it since she's stuck on earth now though. So we still haven't seen our boss Yellow Diamond coming in. I'm wondering if we'll get that by the end of the year or any of these other gems. Will we see the fusion, which I forget the name of it, but the, the fusion under the sea of Lapis uh, coming back with, um, ooh, we're not doing well on the names today, but uh, with Jasper, will we see any of this? And then we, you know, Paradox still continuing to learn what's going on on Earth here and Steven's helping her obviously he's doing a better job than the other gems and getting her uh, you know integrated to the group here telling her what's right to do we'll have to see if that continues and she becomes more part of the group and a complete ally to them and not just to save her own skin so so to speak but to actually like learn her lessons and things like that we'll see at the end of the last episode it was kind of you know, she apologized to Amethyst because that the last one was about Amethyst, but um, she didn't 100% do it for the right reason still, I don't think so. We shall see what happens this time, and I'm ready to get right into it here. The Verse Season 2, Episode 22. So, like I kind of mentioned, it was kind of similar to the one episode where Steven was, I think, worried about growing up. I don't remember the catalyst for that one. It was back pretty early on in season one, I think. He was going all up and down, older doll, baby, all that stuff. So it seems like he can physically shapeshift and change like that, which I guess Amethyst can do, and maybe all the gems can do. I'm not exactly sure, but 
is messing himself up by doing that. So he hasn't, he's 14, and yeah, it does, he doesn't have the appearance. He still seems like 11, 12 in, in appearance. Again, kind of hard to tell with the, you know, being cartoon and all that, but Connie looks, I guess, well, she's only 12 and a half, she said. I guess she looks like that. They look the same age, or she maybe even looks a little older. So that, that is awkward, I guess, if he, if he stays looking 13 forever, like he got a facial hair at the end, whatever. But I think he's going to be aging very slowly here. And this episode was pretty awkward, like uh, adolescence or puberty or whatever. And it's interesting, like Connie, or Steven does, it does seem like it's romantic a little bit between Connie and Steven, and she was liking it when he was looking older. Um, they're dancing and stuff, slow dancing. And Steven even said something about when, Con when Connie's president, I'll be first boy, which is a funny joke, but also it, it does seem like he's thinking they'll be married or something, so I don't know. Um, but of course, you know, Anytime Steven freaks out about, either either one of them, Connie or Steven, when they freak out about something, at the end they always realize they have each other's back or it'll be fine. But in this case, it would be, you know, let's say when Connie is like 20 or something and Steven's old, 22, I guess, but he still looks like 15 or whatever, It's that is awkward, you know, that, that's not gonna necessarily work in a romantic sense. So I don't know, but, Again, they also don't know because Steven's the first kind of human gem hybrid, seemingly at least, that any of our characters know anyway. No one knows what's going on. And uh, yeah, and it was good that we did. So we definitively got the fact that uh, Greg raised him from the beginning. He, he does seem to be having a birthday every year on a normal human yearly schedule. Uh, and that's what they're marking it off, at least so 14 now. And Greg said, yeah, when, the, when he came around, the gems didn't know how to raise the baby in the first place anyway. So I guess he really did raise Steven from the beginning, um, which is kind of questions I had going back to the beginning of the, sh of the series because they weren't ever explicit about that before, really. Good definitive answers there, at least. I like the callback also to Greg and Connie, like saying humans stick together sort of thing. That was cool. Uh, yeah. Um, no, no, Paradise had a brief appearance in this one, but this two-pack episodes after four Paradise heavy ones in a row, she definitely took a big back seat there. In this one we got, so both these episodes took place on his birthday, even though one was all the flesh. The story time from Garnet um, looks like we're, I think there's two, two or three episodes left, I'm not exactly sure. I'm still planning to do a season two wrap-up podcast. If you have any questions, I'll mention this in, toward the end of the, you know, and all the uh, final episodes for the season here, but if you have any overall questions you wanna throw out to me um, for going forward or for my season two podcast episode, please leave those in the comments there. Subscribe if you're not already and you like these videos, or do whatever you wanna do. You know, I'm glad everyone's uh, watching. You know, I mentioned last time, hopefully people are still clicking over it since I'm putting these on daily motion now, off for the reaction, it seems like some people commented and said they're they're cool with that, so that's good. And yeah, um, this what these ones were a little bit more set up or really a little more backstory. But it looks like at the end of the season here, I think we're gonna get back into the drill and all that, the cluster, and see if this this uh, overall storyline gets wrapped up in any way, and gotta see if any more gems are coming out of the woodworks here getting introduced so i'm excited for it i'll be back next time for it car tuesday drew's views see you then i'm out of here peace